nice rich compost. This is where I start all the debris and then I move it over to here and I usually have one big one, but this was so big, so I moved some of it here, but this is all the finished compost. This has been aging for about six to seven months and you can see it's nice and rich. Hey everyone, it's Lamont Wheat at Lake August Gardens and today we will be doing a little bit of composting. So I'm ready to take all of this out. It's been aging about six or seven months and then I'll move all of that over to here and mix it in and then I have some more stuff to add in. <music> so yeah i want you guys to see how rich this compost is this is about six months of breaking down and you can see there that it's a nice rich organic compost a lot of organisms in it that will continue um, creating healthy soil so we'll just add this back to where we got it from which was the garden <music> All right, so we have collected everything that needs to go in the garden. And so now we can consolidate everything into one big heap. I'm moving everything from bin one to bin two so that we can have bin one ready for all the cuttings and clippings from the springtime. And this will also accelerate the breakdown process in bin two. I just added some uh, collected uh, debris from our kitchen which is considered a green. So, you know, in your compost heap, you want to have some browns and a healthy balance of greens to help with that breakdown process. Um, you also want to make sure that your heap is about three feet high. That really also creates that uh, decomposition process for your compost bin. It creates the heat in the center, which really helps with the uh, breakdown. And you also want to make sure that you keep your compost pile hydrated. We're about to move into the rainy season, so I think Mother Nature will do the trick for us. All right, as you guys can see, we got the pile relocated and I got it about three feet tall, so you do want to make sure that you that you get some height on it because that height and that weight is what creates the pressure that supports the uh, breaking down process. So once we get into the rainy season in a couple of more weeks, this will get drenched with rain. And as we get uh, weeds, as we get some weeds like uh, growing out in the landscape, we can add some more green into this. But 
This is how we do our compost bins. We keep all of our scraps from the kitchen. We get all of our debris in here broken down. We usually start in bin number one because as you can see, bin number two is full now and it's gonna take about maybe four more months for that one because those leaves are really chopped up and the, the decom decomposition process has already started. Um, but as we're loading this up the next two to three months, getting us into about June, um, with all the weeds and other debris and clippings and cuttings, this will be ready. We will put this on before we get into the hot, hot summer months. We'll just dress the beds down where we need more compost. And then we'll move bin one over uh, to bin two to complete that decomposition. And then it'll be ready bin number two or the second uh summer bin will be ready in the fall and then we'll start the, the process again so that is uh how we do it and this is the reward is this nice rich organic compost that is loaded with bio nutrients and enzymes and will really help us in building our soil very organic I had a little bit of daylight left, and so I thought, why not trim the variegated liriope? The variegated liriope isn't evergreen, but I think it's more glamorous when it's pruned back every year because it sends out new foliage uh, mid-April, and it also blooms around late summer with purple spikes, and I have it planted here under a southern magnolia tree. Alright, got that nice and done. And then all cleaned up. There's one more right there. Alright. Okay, y'all, come on. Come on, Kyra. Our first offering for the compost bin. Clipped liriope, variegated, I might add. Again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you enjoy our content. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments in the comment section. We will respond and we'll see you in the next video.